Hey developers, let's create a view app where we can search NASA. Let's take a look. Hey, before we begin, let me just tell you, if you look at the description below, I have some links to some amazing Udemy courses. You can get really cheap Udemy courses, click on those links, and that is how you can be a web developer. So let's begin here. All right, I went ahead and got everything up and running for you guys here. So I have my Atom Editor, I have the command prompt. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now you can look at the NASA API if you go to api.nasa.gov and it gives you a lot of information on what you can do. Um, normally you do need an API key from NASA, but in this instance I'm not going to use it. I can actually just do queries without it. So I'm going to do search queries and that will return images. And then we're going to take those images and we're going to parse them and then show them on the screen. So it's going to be really simple. So if you don't know, uh, you, I'm going to use ViewCLI, and you can get that. You can uh, go to github.com slash Vue.js slash ViewCLI. And this is a build tool that will make it really easy to create my Vue application from scratch and uh, set everything up for me. So let's start. Um, by the way, if you don't know how to do it, just type in npm install dash g view hyphen cli. And you'll need to have Node.js installed. And to install Node.js, I prefer NVM, but you can also just go to the nodejs.org website. So this is going to be a real beginner tutorial, but we'll start here. So I'm going to type in view, init, webpack, and then the name of the project. So I'm just going to call it NASA search. And it's going to ask me a couple of questions. First, it's going to tell me I'm, my view CLI is a little bit out of date, but this is fine. It's going to ask me for my project name, a description, my email. I'm just going to do all the defaults here. I'm going to say no to the router, so we don't need that. We're not going to use ES Lint, and we're not going to use Karma Mocha or Nightwatch. So it went ahead and did everything for me, so I'm going to go ahead and change directory to NASA search. And I'm going to run npm install. So this will just take a minute. OK, great. Everything is installed. So let's go ahead and change one thing here. If I go to index.js, you could see here the port number. I'm going to go ahead and change it to 7000. And we're going to run npm, npm run dev. And let's go ahead and open up the server. Just make sure it's working. Great. It says, welcome to your Vue.js app. So we know that at least we're talking to it. And in Adam here, I'm going to open project. I'm open folder. And I'm going to go to my NASA search here. OK, so we're in NASA search here. Let's take a look at the files. We go into components. We go to hello.view. So this is everything that's running right now. So let's, uh, let's say we delete this list here. And we delete here. We just have a message that says essential links. Yep, looks like that's working OK. So I'm going to go ahead and change things around a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call this search.view. And in the search.view, I'm going to change the class name to search. And I'm going to call this search. Oops. I'll call this search. And inside my app view, you can see here it loads the image and it runs hello. So we're going to change this to search. I'm going to import in, uh, let's see here, import in search from here. So I'm going to add in this other. So what basically I'm doing here is the Vue.js has components. And the way you work components is you do the import, the component name, and then where it's located at. So we just had in this components folder, we just added the search component. So I'm just changing this around. The app.view always, uh, when you use VOC, Vue CLI, it creates this for you. 
And so what I'm doing is I'm telling it, instead of looking for hello, look for search. And you always, inside your export default, you list all the components you're using. So we're just gonna tell it to look for search instead. And then inside the template here, we're saying, go ahead and use search here. And we can actually delete hello because we're no longer gonna use it. So, okay, so we see search at the top. So that's a good sign that it's working. Put it H2, hi. All right, so we definitely know we're having search working here. So let's go ahead and create a form element. And what I'm doing here is I'm making sure there's a V on directive. And then what I'm telling is that look for the submit action. Um, when the submit, when you submit the form, it's actually, if you put dot pre, uh, prevent here, it's gonna prevent the default, which is normally to submit the form. So I'm gonna prevent that. And instead, I'm gonna, it's gonna go ahead and, and it's gonna go ahead and look at the get results method that I'm gonna add, and it's gonna pass in query to it. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna create an input, type equals text, then I'm going to have a V model. I'm going to call it query. And a V model directive is you can bind all sorts of things to V models. And what it's going to do is whatever's in the query in our data object down here is going to be put in here. And um, in this case, since it's a text input, whatever we type in the text input, it's going to be bound to the V model in query. So let's let's just see if that works. Like let's say we put query here and put in Eric. And just to make this work, we need to add in method, methods. And the way you do methods is you put in the name methods and then you put some curly, a curly bracket here. And then we type the name of the method. So we need to put get result and we're gonna have a query passed in. And just for now, let's do alert on the query itself, just to make sure things are working. So we'll take a look at it here. And it hasn't changed or updated yet, so I'll make sure it's everything saved. Yep, here it is. So it says Eric. So that is what we expected here, because um, we put the name query in Eric. But let's do this. We'll put in an H2 type in your search term. And we're not going to do this, but we're going to put in a placeholder here in, the, in this input tag. Placeholder. And we'll type in your search. And now you can see here it has type in your search. So obviously right now it doesn't do anything, but if we hit enter, you can't see it. Actually, you can't see it, good. You can see the, at the top there, it says local host, it says 7,000 ASDF. So we know that whatever we're typing in here, we're just hitting enter and it's getting sent to the query. So one thing we need to do is we need to use some kind of library to send the information over and uh, used to in the past use view resources, but that has been uh, not, uh, it's not, should not be used anymore, I should say. I don't know if it's been deprecated, but it's certainly not preferred. So I'm going to use one called Axios. So I'm going to do npm install Axios dash dash save. Uh, if I could spell it right, A X E I O. You can see it right here. AXIOS. So here's the GitHub for Axios. It kind of gives you an idea. It does a, a few nice things for you. It has a real simple syntax. It uh, it automatically transforms your JSON data for you, so you don't have to worry about that. So that makes it really easy. So let's go ahead and npm run dev again. And to be able to use this inside our app, we need to, in our script tag, we could probably do it outside the script tattoo, but we're gonna go and import in Axios from Axios. That's as simple as it is. 
And then in our alert here, we can do axios.git and then a query. So I'd like to just start off with make sure I can connect somewhere. So I'm gonna put in reddit.com and I know this is a JSON API endpoint, pick.json. And then when it gets it, it's thenable. So I'm gonna have a response. And I'm just going to console log it out response.data to make sure that it works. So let's see if it does. I'm going to save it. Go back up here. Go back to our NASA search. I'm going to open up the console. It mentions that I have query, but I'm not using it, but that's fine. And I have five icon, so I'm just typing anything. Okay, cool. So if you see down here, it's kind of probably hard to see, but you do see object data. So we see we do have some children. So it is getting the JSON data. So that's from Reddit, but we need it from NASA. So let's take a look at the NASA, and I have the URL written down here. So we're going to go images, you know, HTTPS images-api.nasa.gov search q equals and then we're going to put in the search term which is our query here and that's going to be ampersand media type equals image and then we really want is the response.data.body collection dot items so let's see what that looks like okay oh and we should put in a query here too okay now now it doesn't give us those errors so now we can type in let's type in the sun okay so in promise type cannot read property collection of undefined so it couldn't find it so let's see before we go farther let's look at the response.data first and see what that's doing so we do get a collection back and it does have a bunch of items in it. So let's see here. We go, maybe I got this wrong. So re response dot data dot collection dot items. Let's try that. Sun. Okay, cool. So we got a big object of stuff here. And then each one of those. We have a ton of objects, and then we have an image that we want to, well, we have a href, but inside there we have a link, and we have an object, and then here's our image that we want. So let's do this. Let's have a new one called results. We'll add that in there. And we'll have this dot results. So we're talking, so in our data, we added a new property called results. We're gonna do this dot results equal response.data.collection.items and then inside let's create a new div for results so we'll call it result in results because we know that's plural so the way v4 works it handles ranges and iterates through collections and it's basically always in the format of item in items. So this one right over here is your array, and then this is an alias to every to to a single item inside this array, and then it loops through it all. So we can go v4 result in results 
which would work. Uh, one thing we can also do if we don't find anything, we could do a VF here to make sure this actually is some results. And then if there is results, then we loop through the results. And then we're gonna just bind each image. Bind, source, and we really all we care about is the result dot linked. We don't want all of them, we just want the first one dot href. All right, let's see here what happens. So I'm gonna type in sun. All right, here we get a ton of different suns. And they're huge. <laughs> yeah, so we have all these different suns, all these different pictures. We could do, we could add it like a class here. Let's see here, a class equals I don't know, results. And the nice thing here is down here, uh, here's some scoped styles that were already in there, but we can add in dot result, dot result, results, with an S. And then we can put in our own HTML, uh, we'll do results image, or excuse me, CSS. So we'll just do height 300 pixels, I don't know, margin 10 pixels. Let's see what that looks like. So we'll type in sun again. Uh, it looks a little, little better. Yeah, so actually you can see these. So very cool. So now if we try moon, So here's our moon images. All right, cool, so we did it. So that is just a really, really simple example of using Axios, searching through an array from NASA and displaying it using the vbind directives, the vf, and a v4. I will include a link to uh, GitHub where this project's at if you wanna look at it in more detail. And if you like this channel, please click that subscribe button. That really helps me. Thanks. Take care.